Hello everyone, Dragon Gaming, Kid Friendly Gaming here. And today we're going to be reacting to Ninjago Season 10. Garmanon Becomes the Oni Leader. Which is a Season 10 theory. And he... Jan Fishies is in fact going to explain it. So... We're, he's just going to be explaining this theory and... We're just going to see how it goes. So... Yeah. It's Tanner here, and welcome back to another Ninjago speculation video here on the channel. It's been a while since I've done one of these, or at least it seems like it's been a while. Um, I actually didn't upload uh, for Christmas, which was a Tuesday, which is normally when I upload. My upload schedule is Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, with reviews on Friday. So it felt weird to not upload that day. So I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you... The pictures you're showing in the background are from Legacy. I try to relax... Reacting to a legacy thing, I can't due to Lego and stuff of that nature, but... May celebrate, whether it be Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or something in between. Hope you had a good one, and I hope you all have a happy new year as well. Yeah, happy new year, so guys. jumping right into this theory here and moving right along with it, today we're going to talk about the possibility of Gromberdon potentially becoming an Oni, or at least maybe transitioning into an Oni phase. So if you take a look at this Oni here, as you can see on screen right now, this is, of course, from the end of the uh, Ninjago March of the Oni trailers. We see this guy. And who exactly could he be? Well, I mean, you know, my first thought was, hey, it's the Oni, uh, it's the Oni villain, you know. But on closer inspection, maybe it's actually Garmadon, and I consider it to be maybe Garmadon for a few reasons. For one, the whole four-armed thing. Now we do have a lot of four-armed villains in Ninjago. So pointing out this... Yeah. It could be... Garmentheim trying to put on a mask of some sort and control the Oni. I'll have to try to find the teaser to clarify on this. It's either the uh, trailer, which we'll go watch. This piece of evidence really doesn't suggest that, hey, it's or Garmin the teaser, course, but Garmentheim gets his powers back. Such as Samakai and Nauticon and countless others in between. But what made me think that maybe it could potentially be Garmadon, or at least a different version yeah. of him, is the newest uh -huh. uh, Ninjago March of the Oni trailer, which actually came out on the official LEGO website. Now, if you take a look at a certain scene, we can see a flash of Garmadon fighting Lloyd, and then suddenly Garmadon disappears, and this new little Oni emerges from it, uh, or from Garmadon. I don't necessarily consider this Oni to be little, yeah. because it actually Good point. is quite Good massive, point. it towers over Lloyd, and I believe this is the same character or the same Oni that we see at the end of the trailer in that little title card thing, so to me it kind of looks like Garmadon mutated into this thing, now I don't know if the trailer was just cut together to suggest that this might be the case, or to throw off viewers, as many trailers tend to go ahead. Yeah, I didn't think about that until we brought this up. But a lot of trailers are normally edited together to look, try to make sure you don't know everything and keep it open. Because the last thing you want to do is have a, lose money, you make a whole entire movie and nobody shows up because they can figure out what's going to happen. You want to keep them on their toes so they watch the movie and find out and edit themselves in such a way, you know, to throw people off so people don't, you know, automatically predict everything that happens. But judging from the trailer alone, it looks like Garmadon suddenly mutates into this thing, which I guess could make a lot of sense if there is another Oni mask at play. As we know, one of the Oni masks has the ability to go ahead and turn its user into a four-armed demon of sorts, and... He is, in fact, uh... Oh, oh, look at that again. You know, to throw people off so people don't, you know, automatically predict everything that happens. But judging from the trailer alone, it looks like Garmadon suddenly mutates into this thing, which I guess could make a lot of sense if there is another Oni mask at play. As we know, one of the Oni masks has the ability to go ahead and turn its user into a four-armed demon of sorts. And the four-armed demon. I, tried, I was trying to make sure I got that right, so I don't lead you with a random... One thing, and the thing is that, and I'll bring it up right now, the mask he's referring to is the 
Mask of Vengeance. Uh, element Destruction. First Appearance. Mask of Deception is also in Street Race of the Snake Jaguar. It also will show up. It all three ma only masks will show up in the Sons of Garmin Temple of Resurrection. We've not actually got the Street Race of the Snake Jaguar. Status intact. Okay. Jaden Mr. E using the Mask of Vengeance. Really? Four arms? Like, that's new. The Oni Mask of Vengeance is one of the three Oni Masks. When worn, it will turn the user into a Master Swordsman with two additional arms. Yep. There's the, uh, whole entire history behind it. You know, in the jungle for no means, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the possession of Cyrus Borg, who had the mask was in the secret part of the Wolf Tower. Mask of Deception, you know, J Princess. Orion Dragon. Uh. Uh. Okay, yeah, Onion Dragon. There's the Game of Masks General Arrival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season 9 Hunted. Okay. So at some point, Oni Mask will be recovered by the sons of Garmadon. The Oni Mask Vengeance will be returned back to Mr. E. Firstborn. Mr. E utilizes the Oni Mask Vengeance while confronting the Lee members of the Resistance following the discovery of Ninja Survival. Basically, that's about it. And Mr. E just dies. Season 9. So. <laughs> In the Season 9 intro, Ultraviolet wears his best despite not wearing it once during the season. <laughs> Sweet. That was pretty cool. Only Mask of Vengeance the, is the only mask that's an attack. Mask of Deception. That's the one I was looking at earlier. There's the Mask of Hatred, Mask of Deception, and Mask of Vengeance. Vengeance is the one we were just looking at. You know, the red one. Hatred is purple, and Vengeance is... Or, uh, not Vengeance. Destruction is orange. That was destroyed by Skylar with the Colossal. And the Mask of Hatred was destroyed by Lloyd with the Battle Wax. Its current location is unknown, as it has not been seen since the death of Mr. E. It has most likely been found and returned to its owner, Cyrus Ford, due to some Garmadon members being locked up in a Criterion prison. There are some pictures of it within the show, and of course on the minifigure, there in, in the San Diego Comic Con. That's that on the Mask of Vengeance. Back to this theory. So now you know what mask. He's referring to, turns into a four-armed person and demonic person. You know, that, armed, that. And there appears to be one more, so we know that there's three, maybe there's another one. And what if this Oni mask has the power of all three regular Oni masks? So essentially, Gromadon would be taking in the power of all three and eventually, you know, turning into this thing. Or it could be an entirely different character, for all I know. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and say that maybe this Oni is Garmadon. Judging from the way that the trailer is cut together and judging from what could been, uh, what could potentially happen yeah. in the actual series itself when uh, March of the Oni eventually does air. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down below in the comment section. Do you think that this uh, Oni creature of sorts could potentially... You know, what I found really interesting is in Legacy... They never use any of the versions there that are listed, like kind of described. The first blade cycle isn't in legacy sets. The ice mobile isn't in legacy sets. That mech is not in the legacy sets. That cool earth drawer is not in the legacy. That's not even earth drawer. See, try to salt. That's not even the legacy sets. I was expecting that one to be in the legacy sets. Oh well. So if you get legacy like sets, I guess you can only get the three. And then the J's one doesn't even have that. So yeah.
actually come from Garmadon in some way? Could he have been spawned by Garmadon? Could he, I guess, emerge in Ninjago uh, through Garmadon as he is part Oni? Uh, what do you guys think? Or is, you know, this Oni figure just Garmadon but mutated due to the power of this new and mysterious Oni mask? So be sure to leave all your crazy fan theories down below in the comments section. I look forward to reading all of those. I can't wait to go ahead and check those out. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, I'll just about wrap it up for this one. So thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up rating. And of course, remember to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so already. Once again, guys, the comment section is there for the various discussions that you would like to have regarding this topic. Or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. Thank you yeah. so much for watching. Once again, guys, my name is Tanner Fishies. And with that, I bid you farewell. So that was a pretty good theory. It's probably the most well put Ninjago theory on the subject. But now is the time I turn to you. Would you guys like a Lego Ninjago theory sometime in the future? Let me know in the comment section and down below. That's where your place of discussion is. And just, you know, let me know. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next one.